Welcome. What we're going to do in this video is take a look at atomic sentences. And predication. And FOL. So let's get to it. First, let's consider a simple sentence in English. Here we have the sentence, Bob is strong. The word Bob here is a name. And the function of a name is to denote or pick something out. What does Bob pick out? Well, it picks out none other than Bob. is strong predicates of Bob that he is strong. So the is strong is the predication. It says of Bob that he's strong. Now as Bob stands right now, the statement Bob is strong is false because he's just a stick figure, pretty wimpy. However, if Bob had big old biceps and muscles other places, then maybe we would say of Bob that he being strong is true. Now it turns out that in FOL, you can also make these types of simple sentences that we're going to call atomic sentences. Only in FOL, our predicate, our predicate actually comes first, and it will always start with a capital letter. So maybe we will represent is strong by the following predicate. Strong, and then a set of parentheses in which we have one place for what we call uh, an argument, an argument that it takes. And the argument will be the object <clears throat> in FOL. And our object was Bob. And objects will always be spelled out in lowercase for us. So here we have B-O-B, -B, but all in lowercase. Now again, this acts as our name, and it picks out Bob. It's actually what we call an individual constant. And it's a little bit different than a regular name in English. But we'll talk about that here in a moment. Strong predicates of Bob that he's strong. So now that we have the strong case of Bob with all the muscles here, we might say that it's true. But if some of those muscles were taken away, oh no, Bob's going away. We have our stick figure Bob back. Then we would probably say Bob, or we probably say of this sentence that it's false. All right, so we can see how a simple sentence in English and an atomic sentence in FOL work in the same way and that they can talk about objects. And that both in the case of the English statement and the FOL statement, they can be true or false. So let's take a look at another sentence, one that's going to deal with a relationship. So this sentence says that Bob is stronger than Jeff. Again, we have the name Bob. Of course, it picks out the person Bob. And we have the name Jeff. It picks 
inside the person Jeff. And the predication that we have this time is stronger than. And it predicates a relationship between Bob and Jeff, namely that Bob is stronger than Jeff. So, again, if Bob had big muscles, then maybe we would consider the statement, Bob is stronger than Jeff, to be true. However, if neither of them had muscles, well, you know, they're both just stick, windy stick figures, then we would consider this statement to be false. Or, if Jeff is the one that has muscles, we'd consider the statement false. In fact, even if they both have muscles such that they are just as strong as each other, we'll still consider this statement to be false. So in FOL, we can say the same thing by bringing our predicate out front. We can represent it by the word stronger capital letter to start with. And in this case, we're going to have two spots for names. They need to be lowercase. So Bob and Jeff. And the way that this reads is when we get to the name portions, It reads left to right. So this says Bob is stronger than Jeff. And again, our individual constant or name Bob here is going to pick out the same person as the English Bob picks out. And Jeff is going to pick out the same person that the English Jeff picks out. And then the question of whether that statement is true in FOL, again, just depends whether one is, whether Bob really is stronger than Jeff or whether they're the same strength or whether Jeff is stronger than Bob. So in the first case, it would be true because Bob is stronger than Jeff. In the other two cases, it would be false. So let's briefly talk about the difference between prefix notation and infix notation. The predicates we've seen so far have been in prefix notation. And that's because the predicate comes out front, which always has a capital letter, starts with a capital letter, and the names come afterwards, <clears throat> however many uh, slots we have for different names depending on the predicate. So that's prefix notation because the name for the predicate comes before the names. A special predicate in FOL is the identity predicate. And we can represent the identity predicate in prefix notation. And what the identity predicate says of objects that are denoted, denoted by two names is that it's not actually two objects. They're one and the same object. This is a very important, it turns out this is a very important predicate in FOL. And it's easier to see the logic that's associated with it by using a special infix notation for it. In this case, the predicate, which would be represented by the identity sign, or what you might think of as the equal sign, goes in between 
the two names in question. So it's infix because it goes in between the names as opposed to in front of the names. And this tells us that A and B are really just one and the same object. Now let's discuss the difference between names and individual constants. So individual constants will act like names uh, for us in that they both names and individual constants pick out objects out. What they do is they denote or refer to things. So we've seen examples of names, say Bob, Jeff, etc. We've seen that Bob refers to Bob, and we've seen that Jeff refers to Jeff. And we've seen individual constants. Bob and Jeff. And again, Bob refers to Bob. And Jeff refers to Jeff. Okay, so here's where the difference comes in. Bob in English, as we know, might pick out more than just one person. That is, there's several people with the name Bob. Uh, same thing with Jeff. But with individual constants, they only get to pick one object out. They don't get to pick out multiple objects. So for any individual constant, it will only pick one object out. Now that doesn't mean that objects can't have more than two names. So, for instance, you're probably aware that people have nicknames. Or they might go by two different names. So maybe some people know this person as Bob, whereas some people know this person as Jeff. So a similar sort of thing can happen with individual constants. So maybe we have the individual constant Sarah and the individual constant Amy. And even though Sarah can only pick out one object because it's an individual constant, and Amy can pick out only one object because it's an individual constant, they can still pick out the same object. In which case, it turns out that in FOL, in this particular case, Amy is identical to Sarah, or Sarah is identical to Amy, is true. That concludes the video on atomic sentences and predication. I hope this was helpful.